Oh. Hi, greetings from, uh, where am I? The Pacific Northwest. Bo here. Um, got some vinyl finds to show. Uh, we'll cut down on the humor. Not as funny as I like to think I am anyhow. Not not a lot, just a little stack of records. A um, couple are kind of cool. Uh, Rainy Day Records is having, uh, my, like my Mr. Rogers t-shirt. Found that at, uh, I always say, Cold, but I think it's shop go. I can get that wrong all the time. Anyhow, I don't find why you guys are here. Um, I'm not sure where this comes in the order of his releases, but this is Robin Trower. Um, might be his, his second. Might not be his second, I don't know. Rainy Day Records, as I was saying, is having a 98 cent sale, but they've got a lot of, uh, you know, I wouldn't say questionable quality, because, you know, these are... They're either real common records or they're um, lesser condition good records. Like, like uh, there was a fairly decent copy of uh, Ultimate Spinach's, a, a second press of Ultimate Spinach's second, no, first, first record. And, and I left it behind because uh, I don't know anybody that needed a copy of it. And, but anyhow, there's a lot of cool stuff in there. So I, I went through those bins and that's what some these first few are from here. Some that I bought, I'm not going to bother to show because I don't think you guys would really care. You, you may not even care too much about Robin Trower. Uh, uh, twice removed from yesterday. I, I recently got his first album and I really liked it. So thought I'd give this a shot because it's only 98 cents. Also in there, uh, and this is on the uh, Pompeii label. This is Ike and Tina, So Fine. Don't see a lot of their records. Uh, around up here and when I do they're kind of in this type of condition um, it's not too bad um, oh you can see a reflection reflections of oh wait that's a supreme sorry um, anyhow Pompeii uh, I, I played this one earlier it's it's not too bad it's it's got a lot it's got a few hairlines and stuff but it, it plays pretty well it was 98 cents and like I said don't find a lot of their records, and I do highly enjoy Ike and Tina Turner. Uh, this one is not in as nice a condition. It's a lot rougher. It's got visible scratches. People know I like westerns. Not as big a Bonanza fan, but the song Ringo is outstanding. He lay face down in the desert sand, clutching a six gun in his hand. Um, it, it, kind of William Shatner style. He talks, sings a lot of these. There's, um, what else is on here? Oh, the Saga of the Ponderosa, Ghost Riders in the Sky. So, he, he, you know, he talks, sings a lot of this stuff. But uh, Warren Green, fantastic actor. Uh, some of you guys probably better know him than Bonanza, than known for Battlestar Galactica, which I was not in the 70s. I was not a fan of. And I, you'd think I'd have been right there in that age range because I was, you know, when I was on in the late 70s, 10, 11, 12 years old, but uh, never floated in my boat, so. Um, more of a Bonanza guy, and I'm not even a big Bonanza fan, but that's cool. This Bringo's a great song, like I said. Okay, next two, not from that dollar bin, but cool finds nonetheless. Uh, this is a very interesting album. This is called Boa Constrictor, and it is... It's a folk record, but it's really kind of a rock record at the same time. It's described as folk psych. To me, it's got some some folk qualities to it, but it also kind of seemed at times to me like it had some just some regular old rock elements. Um, really not to describe it. That's the label that it's on, which is uh, I don't know. So it says Vanguard. Vanguard Apostolic. Doesn't look like the Vanguard label that I'm used to seeing, but anyhow, pretty cool record. Not bad. Last one is the Find of the Day, and I left the price sticker on because, yes, that is what I paid for. This is the Millennium Begin. This is not a reissue, this is an original copy. Um, it's a Columbia 2i. Show the back of the jacket now they've been getting a lot of records in like i said at rainy day and so the sales that they're having they've got the dollar you know the 98 cent record ban and a lot of these records are records that you know they wouldn't generally sell or the records that are just donated or whatever people are like i don't want these anymore they drop off the box this was in there and it's not and like i said i i paid 
ape. You can see that. And this is what I paid. I don't normally like, well, I brag a little bit. We all brag when we make cool finds. And this was, I think, more of a, because they at Rainy Day know what this is and know what they're talking about. This is more of a combination of A, good guy price, because I spent some money there, and B, they knew I was looking for this, and C, it's not in the best shape in the world. But it plays, and it plays all the way through with no skips. The, the dead time between songs might have some cracks and pops in. For the most part, it's actually even still fairly quiet. They have a pretty high standard over there as to what they sell and the price they'll put on it. So now I got this for $8.98. If you're not familiar with this, you should. Um, uh, yeah, this is a uh, Kurt Botcher produced. You know, he and Gary Usher did a lot of stuff together. It's really, it's psych. It's really lush though. It's got great uh, orchestration, instrumentation. It's, you know, harmonies. It, it too plays at times kind of like, kind of like a Beach Boys meets Garage meets Psych. It's fantastic and it's one of my big wants that I can now scratch off my list. Anyhow, so that's all I got for you other than it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Hey, anybody out there seen the documentary movie yet? I'm kind of interested in seeing that. So let's hear your, if you've seen it, give me your take on it. So I'd like to hear from you. Thanks for stopping by folks. Uh, we will see you next time on Down the Road. Bye.